our lesson. Today we'll be learning about mentally adding and subtracting up until 20. And this is Miss Summers. So there are many different strategies that we can use when mentally adding and subtracting in our heads. So we'll go through a few of these more in depth, but to start out there's plus zero. So if you look through, you see a pattern. Anything plus zero equals the same number. So one plus zero would be one. Two plus zero is two. Three plus zero is three, and so on. Now let's look at the patterns for plus one. You say one plus one, two. Two plus one, three. So when we're adding one, we just count one more. Seven plus one, eight. Eight plus one is nine. Plus two, it's the same thing. It's one plus two is three. 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 2, 5, and so on. So we see a pattern when we do see the plus 1 and the plus 2. <clears throat> For doubles, we will go through later, but doubles, it's very handy to memorize doubles, and for me, it's easier to memorize these doubles, but they're called doubles because it's two of the same number. So 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, and... Um, doubles are always going to end up at even number, which is also why it's easy, easier than other numbers when learning to memorize these. And then doubles plus one, we will also go on to learn later. Tens, we have two plus ten, three plus ten, four plus ten, five plus ten. And these are nice because, like... 10 plus 2 ends up being 12. So it's basically the same number that you have on the left, like 2 plus 10 ends up, but with a 1 in front. So you're just like kind of rearranging the number in a way. So 2 becomes 12 when you add 10 to it. And then make 10 with 9. 9 plus 2, 9 plus 3, 9 plus 4. Make 10 with 8. 2 plus 8, 3 plus 8, 4 plus 8. And then the extras, those are, you know, great to be memorized as well, which is what we will go over in Quizlet. So I already somewhat went over what doubles are. But I'm going to go through each of these and tell you what they are. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 3, 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. And recognize that these go up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. You're just adding 2 each time. 5 plus 5 is 10, 6, six is 12, and then 14, 16, 18, and 20. So doubles plus 1. So after you memorize what each of the doubles are, like 5 plus 5 is 10, 4 plus 4 is 8, it makes it easier to add or subtract 1. So if I hear what is, what is 5 plus 6, automatically I can think, what is 5 plus 5? 5 plus 5 is 10, right? Plus 1 is 11. Or another example is, what is 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus 1 equals 9. So therefore, 4 plus 5 equals 9 because 4 is 1 off from 5. Or another example, 9 plus 9 equals 8. 18, and then plus 1 is 19. So therefore, 9 plus 10 equals 19. So let's try to work out this problem. What is 7 plus 7? You can write down the answer. And what is 7 plus 8? You can go back to the slides to look up these answers if you need to, or uh, just try to get them memorized and write it out. So all these numbers equal 10. 0 plus 10 equals 10. 1 plus 9, 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. And 5 plus 5 equals 10. And these are very handy because you can switch, switch around the numbers and it still equals 10. So 0 plus 10, yes. But also 10 plus 0. Also 9 plus 1 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 
7 plus 3 equals 10, 6 plus 4 equals 10, and 5 plus 5 equals 10. And then here are some subtraction problems that also all equal 10. We have 11 minus 1 equals 10, 12 minus 2 equals 10, 13 minus 3 equals 10, 14 minus 4 equals 10, 15 minus 5 equals 10, and 16 minus 6 equals 10. And here you sense a common theme, as I was explaining earlier, is that you the same number is taken away. So we have 16 and minus 6, and you have a 6 on both sides because 10 is an even number and ends with a zero. So write down these answers to these questions. What is 15 minus 5? What is 16 minus 6? What is 6 plus 4? And what is 7 plus 3? You might have noticed that maybe you've gotten the same answer for all of them. So maybe just ponder for a minute, ponder what these all have in common. Alright, so this is 10 plus or minus 1. We have 3 plus 8, and we can group together 3 plus 7. We know that's 10, and then add one more to get 11. Or when we hear 4 plus 7, we can group together 7 plus 3, or 4 plus 6, and then plus 1 to get 11. Let's get again. And then when we have 9 plus 5, we can break apart 9 plus 1 equals 10, plus 4 equals 14. And that makes it easier for me to add. And then find the difference here. 18 minus 6, 17 minus 5, and 16 minus 4. And again, I would like you to ponder after finding uh, the answer. They also all have the same sum. So how? What happened there? Could you tell me or make a, make a guess as to why? And you can pause the video if you need to. All right, again, I'd like you to find the sum. What is 2 plus 12? What is 3 plus 13? And what is 4 plus 14? And then, again, do you see anything common in these numbers? Do you see any repetition of the numbers within the equation? Anything you might notice, let me know. And then now we'll go through some Quizlet questions just to get familiar with these and try to memorize. What's 14 plus 6? 20. What's 3 plus 5? 8. 11 plus 3? 14. 20 minus 5? 15. What's 13 plus 5? 18. 14 plus 2, 16. So it, it's good to get acquainted with Quizlet, especially for memorization, because if you're not, if you have to count your fingers to get 10 plus 10, um, it's way easier in the long run to memorize. Oh, it's 20. 10 plus 10 is 20. <coughs> 10 minus 4, 6. It's best to memorize them now because these math problems will be very useful in the future and in, in your daily life as well. So I, <coughs> I highly encourage you to spend some time, maybe five minutes or so, going through these Quizlet problems until you know them by heart. All right, thank you so much for coming and joining this lesson. I make sure to take a picture of your notes. If they're online, screenshot them and send them, upload them to the Google Classroom. And thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful night. Goodbye.